Having a child with disabilities can be incredibly challenging, but a local nonprofit called Reagan's Journey is helping families. I visited their site in Freeport where they give not only medical supplies and equipment, but love. McKenna and Teague just met, but are becoming fast friends. Their moms brought them to Reagan's Journey in Freeport to pick up special pediatric medical equipment they need at no cost. And that's going to let you adjust if you need to wash her hair. Reagan's Journey founder, Kim Neal, shows mom Emily McDonough how this bath chair works. You stand? McKenna also needs a walker since she just got out of UPMC Children's Hospital after four months of treatment for a tumor on her heart that burst. After nine surgeries, including open heart, McKenna is going home with the feeding tube and is relearning to walk. Emily is grateful to have found Reagan's Journey, which takes donations of pediatric medical equipment and supplies and gives them to families who need it. It's absolutely frustrating because you see that your child's struggling and needs certain things to help her be mobile and keep up with her brothers and sisters, but you can't get it because what if she needs something different in six months? Oftentimes, insurance will only cover one piece of equipment every five years, but kids outgrow it or their needs change. Other families need duplicates if the parents don't live together or the child regularly goes to a family member's for care. And sometimes families need equipment or supplies just to go home from the hospital. But it usually takes six months to get the custom medical equipment. Children's hospitals, their social workers and their therapists reach out, out to us every day saying, look, I have a patient who is getting discharged and, you know, needs a piece of equipment, which is what's happening today. Kim named Reagan's journey for her own daughter who has a brain injury. She'd outgrown her equipment and she met other families who could use it. They've got a walker and a wheelchair that's in their shed or their basement that's not being used, but no one would take it back. On average, families will drive an hour and a half to two hours to get equipment here or to give equipment. One family drove six hours all the way from Canada where their insurance didn't cover the feeding equipment they needed for their child to live. Reagan's Journey helps about 15 families a week with a closet full of a half million dollars worth of pediatric equipment and supplies to help kids sit, stand, walk, bathe and eat. Many families return the equipment when they no longer need it. But this is more than just a transaction. Kim and her best friend and the director of development, Tara Garris, both care about the families they help. Tara's son, Ethan, also has disabilities, so they know what these families are going through. When you come here, you get to talk in depth, right, with Kim and I, and we get to share, you know, the heartache and the joys, right? I mean, sometimes kids come here and they'll take their first steps in a piece of equipment that are he that's here. Danielle Dunnigan is getting a special stroller for Teague, who has a rare brain disorder, so he can ride the bus to preschool this fall. If it weren't for Reagan's journey, it would have cost them about $3,000. We didn't know what we would do. Uh, we were kind of stuck in a bind. They, they was asking for a good bit of money. In today's world, it's hard to come by. So um, this is quite a blessing. Two moms turning their hurdles into opportunities to help families on a similar journey. Some of the families will say for them, it's like Christmas Day, you know, like they can just come and shop and take things home for free. You know, we say for us, I feel like it helps us give purpose to what we've walked through. I remember just um, crying out and just being upset. I, I didn't know what was happening. You know, why is this happening to her, to my child? Why is this happening to me? And, and so now to me, knowing that I could turn something so dark and that, you know, God would allow me to use that to bless other people, it's been pretty rewarding. A lot of blessings to go around. Reagan's Journey now has a second closet in Lancaster, and they're opening others in Erie, Columbus, Ohio, and West Virginia. And if you or someone you know would like to give or take equipment or supplies from the closet at Reagan's Journey, we've got a link to their website at kdka.com slash kidsburg and at kidsburg.org. It's an inc incredible what an impact they're having uh, for kids and parents. You're saying in one case with the family from Canada, even a matter of life and death. Absolutely. This is stuff that they need to feed, to eat. Some of them need it to walk, to stand. So many important things that they need. And in addition to all this equipment, they also have a Facebook page where families are connecting with each other, sharing resources, and they have events where people can get together and they know the struggles that they're going through. Well, that organization is a big success. Kim Neal, yes. founder. Yeah, yes. way to go, Kim Neal. Amazing well done. People. Yeah.